box. Do I read this? don't own this video idea. I think Sarah Crowley was the first person who did this, but I thought it was a really cute way to pick out books for this reading vlog. And so Pinterest is going to be helping me today. And my Pinterest is really messy right now because I'm using it for a lot of mood boarding in relation to my wedding and also wedding dresses. So it's like a whole mix of things right now. It's not just book related. So I'm gonna try my best to not miss out on any of the pictures, but I'm gonna screen record this. I don't know how long this is going to take because I really want to pick out books that are only on my TBR cart or if I can find them on my Kindle. Even right now, none of these are like book related. Yeah, it's a lot of wedding material on my Pinterest right now because that's the most important one. There's Love Theoretically, but I've read it. Let's see how long this is going to take for me to like actually find a book. <laughs> Okay, 25 best books for fans of Avatar. Oh, I wasn't expecting, but A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker is our first book, I guess, because I do have that book on my physical TBR. Let me quickly grab that book. I'm like not mad about it just because I actually do want to pick it up. So this is a great time for me to pick it up. Yes, I did end up picking up A Fate of Wrath and Flame. I know I didn't end up having a follow-up to the clip before this. I forgot. Okay, I forgot to take it and show it to you guys. I just took it and I immediately started reading it. I just didn't think too much about it and then I had to go and take a shower and I had to edit and everything so I forgot. When I wanted to read this again just now, I remember that I didn't follow up that clip just now so i'm here to give you guys an update it's a fantasy romance and i think it's like a four book series and i'm pretty sure the second and third book is out the fourth book is not but i think it's coming out this year and i do have the first two books but i honestly have not heard a lot of people talk about this series i have owned it for a while though i think i bought it last year i'm looking for a romance heavy fantasy world and i think this is going to be it but i don't actually really know what this book is about i've read a chapter and a prologue i'm at chapter two this is page 30. according to the back of the book our main character's name is romeria she is a well-known thief living in new york and one day while she was doing her job she ends up getting scouted by this woman who's called sophie and if you guys like read the prologue before chapter one you'll get an insight into sophie's life but honestly it's a little bit vague and it's kind of weird and i don't really want to talk about it like outer worldly being i would say like she's not human she scouts romeria drops her off in this elven world that's completely different than the human world and she pretends to be this elven princess who is supposed to get married to this king and there is this danger lurking in this elven world and that's all i know about this book from the back of the book at least but this book it gets right into the plot of the book i thought it was going to take a while for the world to start building but it immediately got into it which i really like i just feel like sometimes there's no need for you to drag the book on especially in the beginning the introduction so i'm happy that you get straight into the plot of the book i'm gonna continue reading this tomorrow i'm gonna go to sleep right now but i'm gonna read a few pages go to sleep continue reading tomorrow i'm hoping i will have time tomorrow and also i want to go book shopping tomorrow but i think that is going to go into a different vlog than this i am hoping to get at least halfway through tomorrow that is my goal but yeah i am going to go now i will see you guys tomorrow wait 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 what do you like about this girl i mean there's like a lot of things i'd probably start with i like the way she smiles she got me staring for a while got me staring for a while yeah, yeah. maybe it's our conversation she's my favorite notification she knows how to dress for special occasions she got me thinking life could be better these songs start to feel like love letters I should tell her now what I am. I'm just gonna stand like right here so that I'm covering the window so that there's no backlight I'm not like too much Update on A Faith of Wrath and Flame by Kay Tucker I thought I would give an update now even though I'm not 
like fully into the book yet also i don't know why but i feel really bloated i haven't gone like halfway through but i have read a lot i'm at chapter 12 this is page 154 I'm more than a fourth of the way through this book so that's good but i've been having a lot of fun i feel like this book has found my love or fantasy back because this is why i love a fantasy book this is why i enjoy fantasy books because of the world that you're living in the way people can craft such an enticing story creativity of the world world building like it is so exciting so interesting so thrilling and this book completely does it i love the characters i love the tension in the romance i feel like there isn't much romance right now that's happening because you're going through like a little bit of an enemies to lover situation but i still really like the tension that you're getting between the two characters because you know the mc really likes the fmc but he's trying not to have his feelings out trying not to like her back because of who she is i feel like there is a lot of world building currently being done but i feel like the pacing of the information being doled out is done really well i think it's not boring at all i do have to take breaks in between sometimes because i feel like there's so many terms i know there are gods playing a part in this book and i don't know what they're going to do but i'm excited to see what they're going to be having fun i'm going to continue reading i will update you guys again tonight probably and hopefully by then i'll be halfway through the book we'll see i am going to make this quick i have been sleeping really early these past few days i've been setting my bedtime to like 11 p.m and i've been really dead set on sleeping early so i've been really conscious of the time but i am here reading this book i'm not page 280 by the way i didn't realize the time i lost track of time it's currently 11 30. i have been reading and not even realizing that it's 11 30. no wonder i am so sleepy i just want to continue on reading because it's so interesting it's so fun i love the romance oh my gosh the tension oh my gosh the enemies enemies like they hate each other but they like each other oh my god it's so good i'm gonna go to bed now i will give you guys more updates tomorrow i'm just having fun i love the vibe i love the fantasy world it's so confusing in a sense where there are so many secrets but i really like how i don't really know anything so yeah, I'm going to read more tomorrow and I'll update you guys tomorrow because I'm going to go to sleep right now, so. This is a very precarious position my camera is on right now. It's standing on a box that could collapse. It is the next morning. I gave an update yesterday night, but I thought I would give like a little morning update before I leave because I have to run some errands. And honestly, the last thing I want to do right now is run errands and do stuff and meet people. But unfortunately, I've made plans. So I am here to give an update on Aveda Froth and Flame before I leave. I did read a lot this morning and I read up until page 342 i'm gonna read a little bit more but i need to leave in like five minutes i'm gonna bring this out i'm gonna read this in my car because right now i just really want to read this and get this done this book had a turn of events in terms of the plot where i wasn't expecting it to go to and i want to say that it's like a little funny cliche trope but at the same time you wouldn't even guess it's going to happen in that sense it's really funny i know it's not supposed to be funny but to me it's just a hilarious plot point that i feel like got me really shocked i wasn't expecting it now we're at a point of the book where we're actually getting answers to our problem but i am getting really confused plot wise there are lots of information being spit out to us and i'm getting confused maybe my brain is all over the place because i am not focusing well enough to be able to consume the information these past few pages has given me i like how the romance in here is really enemies because you don't even see much scenes of them together because the male main character really doesn't like her but i can see a little bit of tension a little bit of a spark and i'm excited to see where the romance is going to go also you guys this is not related to the book i'm done talking about my book i just bought so many books on amazon if you guys don't know right now it's amazon prime day i bought so many books i can only get them when i go overseas next month so i won't be able to do like a big book haul this month right now i have 14 on my list of books that i've bought i wasn't expecting to buy that many books but the amazon prime day deals are crazy the one i thought was the best deal i got was daughter of the pirate king and daughter of the siren queen
Queen by Trisha Levenseller. There's this hardcover version with the sprayed edges. It was only 18 Singapore dollars. I do have a paperback of The Daughter of the Pirate King, but I saw that. I wanted the sprayed edges. It was so beautiful. I bought lots of books I couldn't find here and they're all on sale and they're all so cheap. I am so happy about my purchases. I'm gonna go now. I will see you guys soon. done with A Faith of Breath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. I just finished it. Wow, that was a ride. I am really happy that the ending isn't a big cliffhanger though, so I don't feel the need to pick up the second book immediately, but I did really like what happened at the end. I didn't feel like it was really climactic. It was kind of expected, but I really like how it ended. I really like the revelations that happened. I feel like even though I did really like the plot and the pacing of this book, the romance, everything was so good, I do feel like the one problem I have with this book is the language of the book. So with this book, the first few chapters you're following the modern world and then you move to this elven world. They're two different worlds but they're in the same universe I would say and the elven world is very traditional. If you guys want to know how I picture it, it's very medieval. Cobblestone paths, towers, lots of soldiers, lots of kings and queens and lords. I would expect the language to be a lot more formal and for them to not really understand obviously Gen Z slang. The main female character Romira, she uses a lot of Gen Z slang, like modern word slang. The one I filmed is information was shortened to info. So I feel like in that sense, it kind of throws me off sometimes because I know that it's a small mistake and it doesn't really make any difference. But to me at least, it kind of takes away from the vibe of the book. So that's the only complaint I have of this book. And also I love Romeria as a character. I feel like she isn't that typical pick-me fantasy character who doesn't know what she is, very strong-willed, and she knows what she's good at. She also knows what she's not good at. And she also just stands by her beliefs and she doesn't really care about what other people think about her. I am excited to see what's going to happen in the second book. There are lots of things happening that I feel like is going to change her completely and I am so excited to see how her relationship with Xander, the MC, is going to go about. I'm going to put this book down now. Rating is going to come at the end of this video because I do not know right now what rating I would give it. Okay, I forgot to do this so I'm going to do it now. I need to pick my next book. And I forgot that I'm filming a Pinterest picks my book. So I'm gonna record now. I have Pinterest on here. And we're going to pick our book on top. I have Powerless and I've read that. We have a bookshelf that I do not have any of the books. Um, Not In Love I've read. Powerless I've read. I don't have a book on here like it's literally not giving me anything oh oh okay only book on this that I have that I have not read is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V. Schwab kind of stressed out about that <laughs> I've literally been putting that book off for the longest time I don't even remember the last time I bought that book. This is my copy of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I've been putting this book off for a very long time. Can I read this? I mean, Pinterest picked this for me. It's the only one I got through that I haven't read. <sighs> I can't believe I'm reading in this video. From what I can remember this book, the main character, Addie LaRue, basically is immortal. She lives forever. She doesn't age, but nobody can remember her. So every time she meets somebody, the next day, if she meets the same person, the person doesn't remember who she is. And then one day, she ends up meeting a guy who remembers her the next day. And then it changes the course of her life. Somebody told me that this book is really slow after reading a high stakes book. I would be inclined to pick up something that's slower, but honestly, right now I'm in the mood to read like a romanticy, like something that's more risk taking. And I think I might not be in the mood to read this book, but I'm still gonna give it a shot. Still gonna try because Pinterest picked this for me. So I guess I'm gonna do it. Hopefully, I'll be able to get through this. Hopefully, I will like it. Hopefully, the writing is going to be epic. <laughs> So 
Sorry for the bad lighting. I am about to leave soon, so I really can't talk too much. But I am giving you guys an update on Invisible Life Addie LaRue. I started having it, and I am now at page 76. I need to leave now. So yeah, having fun. I think it's starting out a bit slow, but I was expecting it. And I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. I do love the quotes in here. I have tabbed a little bit. I do enjoy the writing. I think it's very lyrical. The prose is beautiful. I think when I'm reading it, I feel like I'm transported to a different world. And also my dog is doing this by the way if you guys want to know so yeah i'm gonna go now i'll give you guys more updates later yeah Obviously, you guys can see it's currently nighttime, and I do have an update on the Invisible Life Addie LaRue. I didn't have lots of time to read today. It was a pretty busy day today, so I didn't have lots of time to read. But also, this book is really difficult for me to read because the contents of the book turns out to be darker than what I expected it to be. I get too emotionally invested when I'm reading this to the point where I just feel heartache when something happens to Addie LaRue. Reading this is an emotional turmoil. That's the best way I would describe my emotions and I couldn't read a lot in one go because I had to take breaks because it's just so heavy. I'm now at page 192. I have just reached part three. My goal today was honestly to reach halfway through with this book, just around here, part four, page 270. Currently, it is only 10 p.m. I think, so I still do have time to read. And the way this book works is that you are going back and forth between past and present timelines. And so you start off with Addie LaRue in 1714 France, and then you go to 2014 New York. It does feel like a story about her as a character instead of like a romance or a fantasy. And also we're getting a little bit of the POV of Henry who is the MMC who remembers her. I really like seeing his side of the plot and I think he's also hiding something. He has like a little secret. I can feel it. I am going to read a little bit more tonight. I probably won't be able to get through halfway and then tomorrow I hope I can finish this. It is the next morning time check. It is currently 11 55 a.m and I have read a little bit more of Invisible Life Addie LaRue since yesterday. Now I'm at page 258. So I'm almost, almost halfway through. We're at a very interesting plot of this book. So I am excited to continue on reading. I am hoping to get this done today. I don't really have much to do today. I have done all my work this morning. I'm gonna go now because I want to eat lunch. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm gonna eat earlier. And then I will catch up with you guys once I am done with this book. I will give an update tonight and we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. pages were the most emotional roller coaster of a ride with this book. I feel like the beginning portion of the book until that last hundred pages were mostly just a flow of Addie LaRue's life and you just follow her as she goes through these 300 years. I was having the shivers reading this, <laughs> especially the last like 50 pages. I was shaking. I think what I absolutely loved with this book was definitely Addie LaRue. She was so strong. Seeing her go through so many phases of her life, she has so much empathy for somebody who lived for so long and is never remembered by anybody. I think I'm gonna sit on this book for a bit. I'm still coming back from this. You guys have to understand that I wasn't expecting to cry with this book, but it was so heartbreaking. Honestly, the words are not coming to me right now, so I'm just gonna sit on this for a bit, but I did finish it. And look at my annotations. 
I can't believe I actually read this. I think if I didn't have this challenge, I wouldn't have picked it up. And I think I would have regretted it for the rest of my life because why did I read this? I'm gonna pick out my next book, but my battery's dying. So I'm gonna quickly change my batteries. Give me like a minute. I swear, I am not lying to you. I thought I was filming. Every time I change my batteries, the first like clip that I film, it's always not filming. I didn't realize that, but I swear, I was filming the whole like picking my next book in the Pinterest thing and I was saying how I didn't want to pick a book that was heavy because I had been crying because Eddie LaRue was an emotional damaging book and last week I also read The Make of June Pharaoh and that also made me sob like a baby so I was looking through Pinterest and I was just scrolling thinking I wouldn't find a book that I haven't read yet and then I landed on Reckless Powerless and then I saw Reckless okay and you guys know I recently bought Reckless. If you didn't watch the book haul, then you would not know, but I bought Reckless and it's a recent purchase. And I was planning on picking that book up after this whole challenge, but what better time to actually read that because Pinterest gave it to me. This, this is the particular one. I am gonna take it. I'm hoping this book is not going to be as painful. I don't know. I feel like it might be a little bit painful because some people have said the ending is really cliffhanger-y. But however, it is really short. So it is less than 400 pages. I didn't explain this, but this is Reckless by Lauren Roberts. It is the second book following Powerless. And if you guys do not know, Powerless is one of my top 10 books of 2023. And I was so excited for the second book to come out. In the book Powerless, you're following the life of ordinaries and elites. Ordinaries are people who do not have powers. Elites are people who have powers. And Peyton is one of the ordinaries pretending to be an elite because she is living in a world where ordinaries are getting killed by the king. It's an order. Ordinaries cannot live. And one day she has to join these trials that are held by the king. She is chosen to be one of those participants and she meets Kai who is the king's son. He's the second born son. He is the enforcer and he's an elite. I love Powerless simply because it was romancy and that it had tropes I enjoyed and I had a fun time reading it. I was giggling, I was laughing. I don't care what people say. I'm going to pick up my tabs for this. We're gonna film it obviously and I'm gonna get started with this immediately. I am excited. Let's read this. <laughs> morning i'm just here to tell you guys i'm going to start reckless right now i started a little bit yesterday like a chapter chapter one okay today is monday if it's the first time you guys watch my reading vlogs y'all won't know this but saturdays and sundays are basically my social days so i meet a lot of people on the weekends because i need to have a social life so i don't do a lot of reading but this weekend in particular was really really bad i didn't read at all I'm currently reading reckless and i've only read up until page 96 and i feel like i haven't gone through a lot of this book my goal is to get this done today so far honestly i'm not as obsessed with it as i was with powerless the writing i don't know why but when i'm reading this i feel like the writing is a little bit cringy i am going to try my best to get this on today i am so tired you guys yesterday i had two workouts i went indoor cycling in the morning and then i went paddle at night so tired my whole body hurts i am going to work first and then i'll give you guys more updates as we go i have a bottle of coffee with me and i have a fear of drinking coffee you will know this but i had a very bad episode of acid reflux i think a month ago and it's to the point where now if i see anything that causes acid reflux i get scared and if you're wondering vivian why are you so stupid if you know you have acid reflux why are you trying to drink coffee because i like coffee i made it so that it has milk in it i usually drink black coffee if you're wondering and this is our bika beans so it shouldn't be that sour it should, should be fine i'm gonna eat my plate of apples and we're gonna read reckless
4.43 p.m. It's almost 5 p.m. Where's my book? Oh. I'm not at chapter 39. This is page 302. So I'm actually almost there. I have less than 100 pages left to the end. And I am pretty sure I can get this done in an hour. If I don't stop to annotate or anything, I can get this done in an hour. And I've been having a blast. I think the initial part of this book was a little bit cheesy, but then it got really good. Even though it's fun, and I do really like the banter you see with Kai and Peyton, and the tension around them, and the enemies to lovers, them fighting their feelings for each other. At the same time, I feel like the plot of the book is getting a little bit slow, a little bit boring, just because the both of them are together constantly. And I feel like it takes away from the tension of the book. It just doesn't seem like there's any sort of longing or yearning between the two of them. And I don't feel, I don't feel like they're enemies. I don't feel like they're actually fighting each other, that they hate each other. It just feels like they're slowly falling for each other again. And I think that part of the book is just a little tad boring. I want more pain in their relationship and I don't feel like I'm getting it. I am trying to guess where the book is going to go. I have a theory. I don't know if it's going to happen the way I think it's going to happen. Right now, I just really want to get this done. I'm going to finish this and then I'll catch up with you guys once I'm done with the book. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I guessed it. I knew it. I knew it. I don't know why, but I knew it. Why? I knew it and I finished it. So I'm really happy because I wanted to get this done today and I got it done today. Really happy about that. And I guessed the ending. It's another cliffhanger, by the way. And I, I don't know what to say. I really want to read the third book now. <laughs> anyway, I am officially done with Reckless by Lauren Roberts, which also means I am done with this reading vlog. Here's the deal. I think I am going to rate this book four stars. Initially, I wanted to rate this like a 3.5. Like I've mentioned before, I feel like the latter half of this book is just lots of bickering and banter but I feel like I need to know more about the world and not just their relationship to both of them so I feel like it really loses a little bit of the momentum that it had in the beginning I also felt like the beginning of this book was a little bit cheesy and I don't really know why it cringed me out a little bit some scenes did still cringe me out honestly I do expect it with lots of romance heavy fantasy books in general I liked this fantasy world and I really liked Kai and Peyton as main characters I feel like the both of them were done really well characterization this book is great and I had fun with the read. It was easy. It was so fast-paced It didn't hit me as much as powerless did especially their relationship. So yeah, I think i'm gonna read this a four star It's still a really good reading. I still had fun with the book I'm gonna quickly talk about the books that I read in this video because I think I didn't tell you guys my final ratings for the other books So the first book I read fate of rather and flame by kay tucker. I wanted to rate this 4.5 initially because i had so much fun with this book i thought the world building was great this is really good romance i feel it's not too much romance to the point where it overpowers the fantasy world i love the main characters i think that the both of them were done so good but i'm i'm trying to think of like emotional aspects of this book and i couldn't really think of any i think i'm gonna read this a 4.25 i still feel like it's really good still a really good book still a really good rating and then i read the invisible eye of Eddie larue by v shop as you guys saw i decided to rate this book 4.5 the reason why it's on a five stars even though it really did hit me and i really did like Addie larue's characterization i love the things you learned in this story and i really liked how Addie larue is just so flawed but at the same time the things that she does it all makes sense at least to me and i think there are parts of her that i also resonate with that the way she brings herself throughout the 300 years she's survived in this world is just so powerful so endearing i loved this book i loved Addie larue in general docked off points from 5 to 4.5 is just because i felt like henry which is the i guess you would say love interest of Addie larue isn't as strong as Addie herself like that part of the book just didn't give a punch and the last book reckless is a four stars that is going to be it for this reading vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know what you guys think about these books if you guys have read them as well. I'm so happy about these because they all were rated so high. I haven't been reading fantasy, so I really liked that I read three books and they were all really highly rated. This is such a successful reading vlog. I loved it. If you guys enjoyed watching this, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and watch more of my videos. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!